In this video, we're going to go over the structure that exists in TintWiz for projects, contacts, proposals, and invoices. So what I mean is everything starts with a person or a company, some sort of entity. So regardless of how that comes into TintWiz, whether it comes in from your lead form or whether you enter it in manually, you're going to see the first thing you're going to want to do is always start with who the project is for. So in the case that you want to send a proposal to somebody, well, who is that person? Whoever that person is, let's start by entering their information as a contact. We can get their name and phone number, maybe their email, and then potentially if it's for flat glass we may want, or a mobile for automotive, we may want to get an address. So if we do that at this stage, you'll see they'll automatically pop up and you can select the address that is the right one, hit save contact. Now what we just did is we created a you know, contact for Mary. So this is the top of that structure. So what we can see here, this is Mary, here's her phone number and here's all her information. Mary's a contact. And we can see that Mary has no projects yet. So we can add as many projects for Mary as we want. And projects could be automotive, commercial, residential, marine, anything. You can have as many projects for Mary as possible. And we're gonna start by adding the first project. So again, it all starts with Mary and now we're gonna add a project for Mary. So in this case, let's do a, one for her home. So I'll hit residential. And you can see it's that address, so we'll hit Create Project. And now you can see we have a project at 3200 East Baristo Road. And this is one project for Mary. So we can see that if I go back to Mary's information, I can see Mary now has one project here. It's currently pending a consultation schedule because it doesn't have a consultation. And, you know, usually that's the first step. But what we can see here is that's the only project for Mary. But she now has a project. So if we were going to create another project, let's pretend that we are moving on. And now she says, I'd like you to also do my Tesla Model 3. We can go create another project. Automotive. We'll come down to Tesla. Let's do Model 3. Say it's brand new. And I like to enter in the color, so I'll show you why. Create project. And perfect. Now we have a project for Mary's 2021 Tesla Model 3 that is blue. And if we go back to Mary, you can see now Mary has two projects in here. She has a 2021 Tesla Model 3 and she has a home at 3200 East Barista Road. So you can see we can build up as many projects for a person as we want. Now when we click into that project, that project can have one proposal. It can have one overall price and of course one invoice. So that's the structure. It starts with a person. A person has projects. And then a project can have as many appointments as it needs. It can have as many services. You can create a quote, a proposal with as many options. So there's solutions in there. So if we go in here and we create a new proposal, you can see that we can create as many solutions, as many options as we want. And if I back out of this, and I'll just delete this proposal that I just started creating, You'll see if we go to a canned proposal, we can pick from pre-saved proposals that have multiple options in there. So if I go in here and I click, let's say, expel three options plus partial PPF, you can see what a proposal looks like with multiple options. And in this case, this proposal doesn't have pictures. Um, but you can see the different options and so on. So a proposal can have as many options as you want. A project can have as many services as you want, but again, it all starts with a person. A person has projects. Inside those projects, you have appointments, you have a price, you have proposal with as many options as you want, and then you have one invoice. So you have one proposal, but that proposal can have as many options as you want for a customer, and then you have one invoice in the end. Then we have attachments and we have project notes. And when I mentioned why you know you should ask for the color of the vehicle, that's because when you add those project attachments and that would be before and after pictures, what you can always do is go back to your projects when you need to grab pictures of something. You can type in Model 3 and you can see that when we type in Model 3, we'll be able to see all the colors even. So if we're looking for a blue one, we could go paid in full and we can see right here some other blue Model 3s that we've done and potentially click in there, get the pictures and so on. So that is the hierarchy of contacts to projects. Projects have proposals, and then there's an invoice. So if you look down that menu, it kind of also shows you, you know, kind of an idea. So a lead may come in from the lead form, becomes a contact, and then you create a project 
for that contact. And then in that project, you'll have a proposal and then eventually you'll send them an invoice. And of course, you'll have notes for that project, uploads and so on. So this menu, you know, really falls in line with the actual structure of how projects um, work themselves out and contacts work themselves out. So that's the structure intent was if you have any questions or need anything clarified, of course, you can always jump into our 24 seven live chat in the app or um, on the website, just go to support and click to live chat. And then also you can leave any comments with any questions here or in our new Facebook community. And we'll be sure to answer those and create any other videos that may be needed. Our new Facebook group is called TintWiz Community. So search TintWiz Community in Facebook, or you can access it directly by going to our TintWiz page. And then you'll go to groups and you'll see that group there. And that's another great place to ask questions, you know, collaborate with other TintWiz users to see what other best practices users are implementing that work for them. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.